Right, what's my news? Uh, well, the big news is, last week I tested positive for the old COVID. No fun, people, no fun. To be honest, I've never really taken COVID that seriously. Um, when it first started, I was in Bangkok. My job there finished. Came back home to Taki, where nothing ever happens. And at the time, COVID wasn't happening. COVID was just something that happened somewhere else. It was on the news. It was on the TV. Uh, it was in the media, but it wasn't here. Um, nobody knew anyone who had it. And it lowers your guard, I think. And I tripped along for a couple of years, not really worrying about it. And I thought, well, if I get it, I get it. And that was the wrong attitude because I did get it and it knocked the granny out of me for a few days, so I've got to tell you. I really thought I was for the chop. And um, I'm through it now, I'm out the other side. I still don't feel right, I'm probably about 70%. Uh, I don't feel sick as, as you would call sick. I, I'm just like living in a bit of a fog at the moment. And the other thing is my energy levels are, are zero. I wake up in the morning, I don't feel too bad. I go to do something and I'm, I'm wiped out. Just, you know, going up and down the stairs. Uh, if I left my house and walked over to the other side of the river, which is probably only 40 yards, I'd have to have a sit down rest before I thought about coming back. It really has um, lowered my oomph, if that's what you want to call it, if I ever had any. Um, so I, I don't feel too bad in myself, but I'm not right. Um, and the other thing is, uh, to combat the, the lack of energy, I've been taking uh, iron tablets. And all they've done is, is make me poo black. Uh, I don't really want to go into detail, and I'm sure you don't want me to either. But that's all that's happening there. Uh, and I, I'm still charved every time I try and do something. Uh, it's, it's taken me all morning to set this up. So honestly, if there's, if there's still people out there who are not taking this seriously, you're making a big mistake. Uh, some people get it worse than others. Uh, there's people back in England I know who've had it twice. Uh, they must love it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I can't even think about getting it again. But, you know, if, if you, you've not been serious about it, you know, it's, it's very real and it makes you very sick. Maybe uh, I'm the wrong side of 60, overweight, obviously. Uh, I've had blood sugar problems. You know, I, I'm in one of the, the at-risk groups, if that's what you want to call it. Maybe that's why I had it quite so bad. But, yeah, it really did uh, knock me out for a couple of days. And so... I'm on, I'm on the mend. I'm down to be going back to work on Wednesday. I'll have to do a, a test before I go back. But um, I don't know how that's going to... I'm going to get on with that because because me, me energy, you know, up and down stairs and walking up and down, it's it's going to it's gonna knock me out. But uh, I'm, I'm on the mend. I'm on the mend. So uh, that's my message, really, to you, you lovely people. To, you know, after all this time, still take it seriously, because it is, it is very real and it's very painful. I mean, for me, uh, I didn't have respiratory problems, uh, thank God. What I did have was the worst flu-like symptoms I, I've ever had. Um, headache, right there. Someone with a corkscrew who tightens it up for you every 10 minutes. Uh, pain. And because of that, you can't crawl under the, the duvet and take pills and potions and think, well, you know, I'll, I'll see it out. 14 hours later, you, you're drenched in cold sweat, but you, you're out the other side of it. With this, you can't sleep because of the pain. It's unbelievable. I know I'm a baby, but uh, my pain threshold isn't good. Anyone who knows me will tell you that. But honestly, this thing really did take its toll on me. So anyway, that's my little update. So stay safe uh, and be nice to each other. I'll see you next time.